Winners train, losers complain. Good morning, everybody. It's day four of Skesser and Rough Riders training camp. And unfortunately, because of this crazy weather, with the smoke blowing in, they've uh, moved the practice to the soccer complex. I suspect they'll be moving indoors, try to stay out of this smoke. It's not healthy for anybody. Dickie and that they got the buses here and they're loading them up. So we have to watch the news and see what happens over there today. I don't blame them. Suck it in this air is not good for you. I was sort of wondering myself if I should be out here. My lungs aren't in the best of shape and you gotta keep these players in healthy. I wanted to address about the video and then pictures at practices. This is nothing new. You check through the league. I checked through and a lot of the places don't allow video or some cameras. So uh, I can understand they're thinking, you know, if you, I try not to show formations and stuff like that because you don't want to give away the what the to the opposition all that you can I, I most of the stuff they're doing here they run at every camp that is in existence but but a lot of the uh, I, the stuff I like taking is showing the pictures of their actual faces and the action shots of when these guys make such fabulous plays I just like to show how fit these guys really are, you know. And they're, they come into camp really, really fit. And uh, uh, you can take pictures and show how, how, how fit they are. You know, I fairly feel sorry for guys that get hurt at camp. They get hurt out here. They've been practicing all their life. And yeah, well, not all. They've been practicing all year long, training just for this moment to try to make the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Just like when I uh, interviewed uh, Baines there, he uh, he said it was an honor to be playing and trying out for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Now that's the majority of these guys thinking. They love the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and they love their fans. But when I'm taking these pictures, I like to be able to show the fans and get revved up just like a lot of people do. <coughs> oh man, here I am coughing already. I think I'll be getting indoors myself. But when a poor guy gets injured and he's, I don't like trying to show any pictures of him laying on the ground. It's a sad, sad situation. I pointed it out because it's not really breaking news that uh, this guy is injured. They're gonna find out in the end, that's for sure. And they, that happens in the press conference every day. They ask who, why this guy's not there. People wanna know this information if they're gonna come back. But like they say, they never really have a, don't give you all the information and I don't blame them. You know, it's best to keep that stuff under hat if you can. Well, it's the same old thing. It's like when they interviewed Dickinson and he says, oh, we're gonna try to run the ball more this season. Well, right, there's no team in the plays football that doesn't wanna run the ball. You, know, you wanna run the ball, that's the safest way to keep in the ball and keep from possession and not throwing interceptions. It's all in perspective. Anyway, I hope everything goes good over the soccer field. They're gonna have pads on again. That's the only reason I was gonna venture out into this smoke myself because the padded practices are always the most fun. You know, that's intense. Those times are intense, especially the guys that are trying to make the team. You pretty well gotta go full out. You know, you can't be holding back and saying, ah, 
Now you got a claw shot guy hard. I don't know why, you know, like in the practices, well, they do the offense and defensive lines and that don't wear those those uh, knee guards, you know, those braces. I don't know how bad that they affect your play, but uh, hi. I heard on the radio they moved it indoors. Yeah, they're over the soccer complex. So, oh, we up there. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if you can go in there. I'm not going to bother. The only reason I came out is because I thought they were going to have pass again today. I guess I'll go up. That's in. Uh... I think that's the one. Oh, yeah, over there. Up in the... I know I can't how to get there. Yeah. I'm not sure how they can get, get in or what they're going to do. Thank you. Have a good day. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know why they don't wear those guards. Uh, even if it helped one injury. I can see maybe during the game if they, if they are uh, holding you back. But in the NCAA, they use uh, those all the time. It's mandatory, I think. You know, like they save these guys so they can make their dreams come true and maybe get to the NFL without being all injured up and wrecked knees. And it's like those uh, new bubble things they want to put on top of their helmets. I don't know what they're called, Guardian caps or something. I've seen them using them down in the NFL and I was wondering if they were going to, to uh, do that here up in the CFL. That's another thing if I agree with. Why not? If you, you can uh, save some injuries during uh, practice time, and it's, it gives you an advantage. Keep your players healthy. You know, these guys sacrifice their bodies, especially in the CFL, for what I consider peanuts compared to the NFL. And uh, you got, uh, I can tell you, I participated in sports in my younger years and uh, I can tell you every bone that I crocked or, or knee that got wrecked and everything I'm paying the price at my age now. In fact, I visited a chiropractor yesterday to try to get some of the pain away. And these guys, they're, they're one step above me in their playing careers and I'll tell you, they're gonna feel it in their later years, so you don't begrudge them the money that they earn to be a professional football player or athlete. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Uh, I don't know, they say it's not gonna clear for days, so maybe they'll be doing this from now on in. It's uh, unfortunate you can't get out there. Like even, I don't know if it's going to affect the green and white day on Saturday. Uh, a lot of my viewers are asked, uh, if you come to camp, how do you get tickets? So uh, you just walk right in the door here. Anyway, until next time, go Riders, go and have a great day.